Exploring more features of Adobe Photoshop CS3 Part 3 Pattern Stamp Tool A pattern is usually a design made up of an image that is repeated or tiled. The Pattern Stamp Tool lets us fill an area with the selected pattern. Photoshop comes with a variety of preset patterns. We can select a preset pattern from the Photoshop library or create our own pattern. Children, now we will learn about the steps to be followed while using the pattern stamp tool. Firstly, select the pattern stamp tool. Then, Set appropriate options such as brush size, mode, opacity and flow for the pattern stamp tool in the options bar. After that, we select a pattern from the pattern pop-up palette in the options bar. Finally, we place the mouse pointer inside the area to be painted with the pattern and drag the mouse. The area of the image where we drag the mouse gets filled with the pattern. Blur, Sharpen and Smudge Tools These tools let us change the appearance or focus of selected portions of the image. Blur Tool The Blur Tool softens the selected portions of an image giving it a blurred effect. This tool is useful in situations when we want to moderate or soften the focus of some areas of an image. Children, these steps have to be followed for using these tools. Firstly, select the Blur tool from the toolbox. Then, set the brush size and the blending mode for the tool in the options bar. Finally, drag the mouse pointer over the portion of the image we want to blur. Sharpen tool The Sharpen tool is the opposite of the Blur tool. This tool lets us improve the clarity of an image by sharpening the edges of selected portions of an image. Children, these steps have to be followed for using these tools. Firstly, Select the Sharpen tool from the toolbox. Then, set the brush size and the blending mode for the tool in the options bar. Finally, drag the mouse pointer over the portion of the image we want to sharpen. Smudge Tool The Smudge Tool gives an effect of spreading the paint across the image as if we have dragged our finger through a wet paint. This tool picks up the color from where the stroke begins and pushes it in the direction we drag our mouse. Children, these steps have to be followed for using this tool. Firstly, select the Smudge tool from the toolbox. Then, set the brush size and the blending mode for the tool in the options bar. Finally, drag the mouse pointer over the portion of the image we want to smudge.
Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.